Hi, my name is Jordan Fairborn. I'm from Alta High School, and this is my pitch for Phoenix. So I just want to start off with a bit of background. Uh, a huge part of addiction is the isolation that usually follows it. People will start will stop attending social events and they'll neglect their responsibilities in order to get their fix in. And worst case scenario, they spend their time with other addicts feeding into this addiction. So I believe that the first step of recovery is acknowledging that there is an issue and that making sure that these addicts have a safe space where they can connect with others and feel less isolated. Um, the usage of drugs and stimulants can be very appealing as it provides short-term relief, numbness, and even like a euphoric feeling. So I think making these teenagers feel alive again should be a top priority. Making them feel raw emotions again is very important. Uh, my solution to this is to offer service projects to, for these individuals and get them involved in the community just to appreciate life more, as well as their own life, as well as the lives of others. Um, and I think the families of these teenagers should be involved as well. Addiction is a really complicated thing for people to understand. If you're not an addict, it's difficult to understand what they go through. I think the closest thing to addiction would be, like dealing with addiction would be grief, as it's not linear, and some days it's really hard, and all you can think about is it, and other days you don't even remember that it's happened, and so having parents talk to someone who has gone through these abuse who has abused drugs and has flipped their life around would be very beneficial they'd be able to look for warning signs um, and prevent relapses or even an initial substance abuse so i have two i have three uh pitches for phoenix so my first is volunteering at clinics this would include rehab and veterinary clinics for people that aren't very sociable and they don't want to talk to other people Rehab clinics, they'd be able to work with patients and do uh, take care of them, take them on walks, and they could even do paperwork and filing. For veterinary clinics, they can bathe and wash the dogs and cats and feed them. Community service would include feeding the homeless, donations to food banks and fundraisers, and even volunteering at senior living centers and arranging activities and events for them. Uh, and I think the most important, probably the most cost efficient, would be pen palling, as participants would be given the opportunity to have a pen pal, and they could either be a former addict or someone who is also recovering, because like I mentioned, addicts are the only people that really understand the complexities of an addiction. So having someone that's gone through the exact same thing or going through the exact same thing as you will make you feel a lot less lonely and will allow you to become more vulnerable and realize that there is a problem. Um, I think today as a society, we've gotten better at erasing stigmas, but there's still a pretty big stigma around addiction, and people are getting better at talking about it, but it's still there. So I think that the program should allow a level of anonymity, and people should be able to say that, like, they should be able to attend the meetings in person if they want to, but if they don't want to, that's completely fine. I think the service project should allow them to be alone if they don't want to work with others. and I wouldn't want to think of this program as like a short-term, few months meeting every now and then type of thing. I think it should be a resource available for them when they are at that vulnerable stage in their life and they are thinking of a relapse and they just need something to get them through the day or the week and getting themselves lost in the service of helping others would be very helpful for them. I just want to say thank you for listening to my pitch and I hope you consider it.